and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Akshita and you are watching Akshita's recipes. The theme of my channel is to keep it simple, quick, yet delicious. So like all my other recipes, today's recipe too is going to be very simple to make, few ingredients and the end result is going to be really delicious where you're going to want to make it again and again. So let's get started with today's recipe. So let's start by seeing how to make the green chutney for this recipe. So here I've just taken about three light green chilies, I've taken an inch of ginger and about two cloves of garlic and some fresh coriander which I've washed thoroughly. Now I'm going to add all of this to my blender and a little bit of salt to taste. And I'm going to grind this to a thick paste. Now we're not going to add any water at all. We want a very thick paste and not a runny and liquidy paste. And then for that extra flavor and to retain the beautiful green color, I'm just going to squeeze half a lemon. And that's our chutney for this recipe. So I'm just going to uh, transfer this to a bowl. And we have our chutney ready for today's recipe. Now the next thing is to prep the eggs. So I'm just working with two eggs. So I'm going to add the eggs to some water and I'm going to bring this to a boil. And once the water begins to boil, I'm going to lower the flame and put a timer of 10 minutes and boil it for exactly 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm going to switch off the heat and just cover the pot and keep it aside till it cools down completely to room temperature. Then I'm going to peel the eggs once the eggs are nice and cool and you know you can handle them. Then I'm going to refrigerate the eggs and then I'm going to peel them because it works much easier when they're peeled, I mean when they're cool and then I'm going to cut them up into halves. So that's how the eggs have to be prepped. And now let's start with today's egg chutney chops recipe, which is super, super simple and really, really very delicious. Now I've also boiled some potatoes. All I've done is I've taken four medium sized potatoes, put them in a pressure pan, boil them on a high uh, whistle, uh, on one whistle on high and then simmer for 10 minutes and then completely cool down the potatoes. This is the potatoes and I have just smashed them up. This is a half an onion which I've chopped fine. This is some breadcrumbs which I'm going to use. This is some chaat masala, about a teaspoon of chaat masala, some pepper powder, a little bit of corn flour and water which I'm going to make a slurry with. Now all ingredients with their exact measurements are going to be in the description box below. Now you could also use one egg, you know, beaten egg in place of this corn flour. But the corn flour adds a lovely, uh, nice, crispy, uh, you know, texture to this egg chop. But you can use uh, one egg, beaten egg too, in place of this corn flour slurry. So now I'm going to prepare the potato covering for the egg chop. So my potatoes are not very nice and cool down to completely to room temperature. And now I'm going to add my pepper powder, some chaat masala. I'm also going to add some salt to taste. And I'm going to add my finely chopped onion. Now I'm going to mix everything well. What the onion does it is it gives a lovely crunch to this uh, egg chop and it really adds that extra, uh, you know, uh, extra, uh, I mean it just makes it, elevates the dish to another level by adding this onion. So now let's assemble our egg chop. So first I'm going to take a lime size ball of the potatoes. And I'm going to uh, flatten it out on the palm of my hand like this, make it completely flat. Spread it out as much as you can. So now I'm going to add a layer of this chutney. Now the chutney has to be dry, it shouldn't be watery. That's why we've not added any water while grinding the chutney. Then I'm going to invert, put the egg with the yolk side down and then I'm going to cover it up with the potato filling. 
as much as I can on one side and then you can use a little more of the potato filling on the top. Put a little bit more of chutney so that this chutney evenly spread around the egg. And do the same thing with the remaining part of the potato. Just flatten it up and then put it on top of the chutney and then just shape the entire thing to look like an egg, an oval shape. Just seal up all the plates where the chutney can be seen with the potato. And keep them aside. Now some uh, tips I'd like to share with you here is, uh, what you can do is boil your potatoes, you know, uh, if you're going to make these egg chops, boil them. Suppose you're going to make the egg chops uh, in the evening. So boil the potatoes and completely cool them in your refrigerator in the morning itself. Same with the eggs also. Before you peel the eggs, see that they're completely, you know, cool down and so that you get the typical hard boiled egg and it doesn't become runny and you don't get the soft boiled egg. So you can prep all your stuff and then just assemble everything. Even the chutney, you can prepare it in the morning and keep it. So it's, you know, even if you keep it in the refrigerator, it's much easier to handle. So if you prep up everything, then you just have to assemble all of this. Just dip it into some corn slurry and fry it. So this is a super simple recipe to uh, prepare when your family members are hungry or when you're hungry and it makes an awesome snack. Now with two eggs, I got exactly four uh, egg chops. So depending on how many egg chops you require, you can do the math. And uh, like for, for two egg chops, you require one egg. So, you know, you know how to calculate guys. And uh, I also have a recipe of how to make homemade uh, breadcrumbs from leftover sides of the bread bread slices so you can watch that at the end of the video so if you don't have breadcrumbs at home but if you have some bread slices or if you have retained the sides of the bread slices then there's an easy recipe of how you can make your own breadcrumbs you can watch the video it's uh, at the end of this video and now i'm just going to fry it i'm not adding too much of oil i'm not deep frying it but just a little bit of oil, uh, you know, just to the outside of the egg chop becomes nice and golden brown. Because everything else is actually cooked, so we don't really need to deep fry this. So even if you fry it a little bit more than, uh, you know, a little more oil than you would with shallow frying, that serves the purpose. So we're just looking for that lovely golden brown color. We don't want a very dark uh, color, just a light golden brown color like this. And it's as simple as that. And then once you're done with frying, just uh, drain the excess oil on a kitchen tapkin or a kitchen towel. And then uh, you can just cut the egg chop into half and serve it with some lovely tomato ketchup or some chutney. And as you can see, it's nice and golden brown in color. And uh, drain, it on, drain out the excess oil. And then once you cut it up, you'll see how beautifully the chutney and the egg, uh, the chutney has, you know, a coat of the egg right round and it's just a superb and delicious snack to have. make the bread crumbs out of the leftover bread sides what I've done is I've just roasted all the bread sides that I've collected till they're nice and crispy and then once they cool to room temperature I'm just going to grind them to a very fine powder and then once it's completely cool I'm going to transfer it to a glass jar and I'm going to store it and this lasts for almost a month if stored in a mm -hmm. 